हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल फिजन एक्शन लर्निंग इफ यू आर फर्स्ट टाइम वी आर ऑन माय चैनल सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड हिट द बेल आइकॉन टू गेट लेटेस्ट अपडेट फ्रॉम फिजन एक्शन लर्निंग इन टुडेज डेमोस्ट्रेशन वी आर गोइंग टू कवर वन मोर बिजनेस रिक्वायरमेंट इफ देर इज अ बिजनेस नीड टू क्रिएट कस्टम अटैचमेंट कैटेगरीज एट द ऑर्डर मैनेजमेंट साइट so let's begin to create the custom attachment categories generally there is a no categories you cannot see at the order management side at the header level as well as the line level but if there is a business need they want some custom attachment categories to be available you can create it while procurement side there are couple of the categories are available as a part of product still if there is a need you can create that as well so now to create you have to go to the setup and maintenance once you click on the setup and maintenance you have to go to the tasks once you click on the task you have to click on the search once the moment you click on search you have to type manage attachment categories so that is the task name so you have to type manage attachment categories once you click on that so any point of time if there is a business need to create a custom attachment categories you have to go to through with this task and you can create your own custom categories as per business need so now we'll cover so there are other categories the attachment categories are also available based on the modules so based on the module you can just search and then you can create it so if i click on search then you can see that there are couple of common module then procurement module then generals product development so there are many module many objects are available within that so particular module if you want to create custom you can do that now we will create for the order management so now if i will try to search the order management and if i try to search for the order management module i can see that there is a no attachment custom categories or the seeded one is available now to create the categories you have to click on plus icon once the moment you click you have to provide your category name so now since we are doing the demo so i am taking demo category and then you have to enter your username what will be the username which can be shown over the ui so i will copy and i will paste the same username as a category name and then i will put description to attach custom objects from customer so to attach custom objects from customers and then if you want we can give a specific customer a specific documents and then you have to select over here the module order management and then you have to click on okay once the moment you click on okay it will create a record so you have to make sure that which module you are going to create your custom attachment and then what is your the username category name and then you have to go to the entities so make sure you selected the entities without that entities means where you want this custom categories the 
attachment categories to be available you have to select that particular entities so since we are creating the custom attachment categories for the order management so we have to search with the doo once the moment you search with the do entity you can get it there are two entities name so if you want that custom attachment categories to be available at the line level you have to select doo fulfill lines all and if you want at the header level to be available you have to select doo headers all so now at this moment i want both place to be available for this custom category so i will select both the entities and then if you want this categories to be available for the process definition as well you can do that since i selected the two entities so we'll see on the ui how that particular custom categories attachment categories object will be available so once you done this categories you have to click on save and close once the moment you done with the save and close the object you have to run the collect planning data for the reference objects that you have to make sure that you have to launch it for that you have to go to the order management and within the global order promising you have to run the collect planning so we'll see that how to run it you have to go to the task and within the task you have to click on collect planning data now we have created the attachments categories for the order management so we have to run this collect planning data that is the mandatory part now you can select as an net changes and then you have to select the reference entities so what is our reference entities that is order or succession reference object so that you have to bring it here so you have to make sure that you have to launch the collect planning data for this order or succession reference object once the moment you select it you have to click on submit and after submission of this program you have to wait till that program to get complete so we'll go to the navigator and schedule process and we'll see and wait for that program to be completed once the moment this program will be completed we'll log out and log in back and go to the order management ui and we'll see that how it will be available so now refresh the programs so program is still running so we have to wait that program to be completed successfully now you can see that there is a no pending ess the sub program is running now i will click on home and then what i will do i will log off and log in back to my user so i will click on sign out once the moment i click on sign out i will click on confirm and then what i will do i will click on sign in back once the moment i click on sign in back i have to to validate i have to go to the order management and we'll see over there at the line level yeah so we'll we'll go to the order management and then click on the order management within that we'll try to create an order and we'll see at the order level how it will reflect so now i will select one of my customer so i selected one of my customer and then we'll wait yeah so you can see that i selected my customer if i go to the actions if i click on the manage attachment at the header level you can see that category option is available now and if i try to attach you can see that customer specific document which we have just now created so you can see that the miscellaneous will be by default available and then customer specific document that is what we have created just now the custom and now you can attach your document and then you 
the title will be picked up from the document itself and the description you can attach whatever you want based on your business now there are options so file either you can upload the file you can put it text type attachment as well as you can paste it url so based on your business requirement you can do that now once the moment you attached it you have to click on okay now we'll add one of the item and we'll try to see that at the fulfillment line level because we have selected two entities so we have to validate both the label so we have validated at the header level now we'll validate at the line level so let me add the item once the moment i added i will go to the amount the orange color drop down and i will click on manage attachments when the moment i click on manage attachment you can see that category will be available over here as well and then if i try to create a new record you can see that the customer specific document will be defaulted because since we have created the single custom object that's why it is coming by default if you are having multiple you have to select from the drop down so this is how you can achieve this kind of business requirement in oracle fusion thank you thank you for watching my channel fusion agent learning keep subscribing keep watching happy learning